Happy Friday, y'all. I have a surprise for you. Um, this has never been done. I search high and low on the internet. It's always been big and takes forever. Y'all, I think I cracked the code. I'm about to make Lao big eggs today. I'm not saying I'm a chef or anything, but I'm always experimenting in the kitchen, especially with me trying to be more healthier. I want to make sure that I know how to cook for myself and I know the quality and green is going in my body. So they would call this actually um, being kai. So that stands for pretty much big eggs. So it's a lot of big eggs. Pretty much what we do is we tap, make a hole on the top of the egg, take all the insides out, and then you marinate it. And you actually put everything back in and you bake it. And it's like, of course, you could just eat an egg like normal, but this is a kind of fancier way to do it. And honestly, it actually makes the egg taste a little bit different. I'll show you guys. Let me show you how I make it. Because usually baking it takes like two hours to do. When you do it in the air fryer, Baby, you cut your down your time down to 45 minutes. I think so. I think this is going to be a thing where everyone starts doing just only in the air fryer now. Because who wants to wait two hours? Not me, right? Okay, so first thing you need is eggs, whatever you want. This is organic eggs. Uh, you can use a fork, you can use a spoon, but I have a chopstick right here. And I feel like these eggs, I don't know how it happened, but they are all cracked for some reason. Um, so I'm going to take top of the egg and I'm just going to tap it like that. And what you want to do is create a hole, okay, like that. I mean, you want it to look cute still because the la the smaller the hole, the more eggs you can feel in there. And what you're going to do is break it up inside, right? And then you're just going to pour out everything into this little bowl thing. You can tell I don't really cook. I don't know what that is. this thing is even called. Now, if you got organic eggs, it's going to look super yellow, by the way. Okay, now that I got all my eggs out of the shell, like this. I mean, some of them are bigger, bigger, have bigger holes than other. I find that the more bigger the hole is, it's easier to put the eggs back in there. But it's time to season your eggs. I do simple garlic and this amazing onion salt um, mixture by Trader Joe's. I mean, the tr traditional way, I think, is oyster sauce. But oyster has wheat in it. Most oyster sauce has wheat and. I have a gluten allergy. Sorry about my cat. Um, but y'all can season however you want. This is how I'm going to do it. And this is a great appetizer or something to bring to a party. It's cute. Most people serve it with like sweet chili sauce. It's like a cute appetizer or whatever. But I love these for the days where I want to eat something high protein and I keep it just in the refrigerator. You know, she'll cook or whatever. And I'm going to mix it up. I am going to put a little bit of fish sauce in this, you know. Okay, guys, now that I'm done seasoning, I did add cracked black pepper to mine. You want to make sure you really mix it really well uh, to the point where you get a smooth consistency because it needs to be a little bit smoother on the runnier side so it actually goes into these shells easier. And I keep my egg container thingy. Don't get one of those foam ones. Make sure you get the, paper, uh, the cardboard paper or whatever this material is called. And I just put saran wrap over it just so I can reuse this. And not only that, if I get any um, overflow or any egg yolks outside of the shell, it'll help it kind of remove itself. But you don't want any eggs uh, spillage outside the shell because they will make it stick. So the aluminum foil is going to help a little bit. But if you do spill outside, make sure you wipe it before you start cooking. So we're just going to pour this eggs inside the shell. And then we're going to bake. And I'm going to show you how easy and fast this way is. Okay, guys, our pour is done. If you get air bubbles on top, make sure you pop that before you start cooking because they will start creating overflow on top of the eggs and then eventually crack the eggs. So make sure you pop your air bubbles before you start cooking. I'm going to put this in the air fryer for, what was it, um, 180 degrees for 30 minutes. And then the second round will be 200 for 15 minutes, so a total of 45 minutes. The reason why you want to cook on a lower temperature, because you want to cook the outer of the eggs first. And then the second round is to cook the entire eggs, because if you cook at 300 right away what it's going to happen is going to create too much i guess pressure inside the eggs it'll start boiling and then crack the entire thing and explode that's that's what happened to me the very first attempt on doing these air fryer eggs okay so we're going to go i'll throw it in the air fryer and i'll be back after they're done and here we have it you guys 45 minutes later now you might want to adjust your cooking time depending on like 
the air fryer brand you have or how many eggs you're doing but um halfway i actually end up flipping the eggs upside down so they cook on the bottom cook evenly okay so let's peel our first one you want them to sit for about 10 minutes but for the sake of this video because i'm losing daylight and on top of that um i gotta go to work soon yes we multitasking so i'm gonna go ahead and you can let this sit so it peels easily but i want to show you guys before i have to go into work okay this is how it should look i like it to eat it cold but for the sake of this video obviously i'm gonna show you guys and you can see it cooks just like how it would cook in an oven i eat mines with um using papaya salad but you're growing on a papaya salad today so we have some sweet chili sauce by my uh my guy g hugs okay it's sugar free and then we have some homemade kimchi let me know if y'all want to see that video because i did film it and then i just have some cucumbers so let's take the first bite y'all mm, 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 mm. Mm. yeah i did that let me know if you guys try this let me you know if you guys want to see more cooking videos like this because lately i've been in the kitchen mm.